All right, guys, I just bought this little burner here. Wanted to give you the, the look around here. Stuff that they don't actually show you on Amazon. Now, one thing I did notice is that this is actually not grounded. So keep that in mind. Um, besides that, it's pretty good. It's uh, sturdy, all square, rubber feet. It's got a pretty good hard top glass. Um, the knobs feel very good. Um, so I got a kilowatt meter here and I want to show you something that I'm not happy about but if you're just boiling water or you know just a little backup this might be fine for you. So when I when I turn this on and I go just one click over right there power turns on it's starting to warm up. Now if you look at the draw, it's pulling a full 860, 850, right? So it's actually pulling max power on the lowest setting. And it's just, you know, going to slowly get warmer and warmer until it's fully kind of maxed out. But watch what happens when you add power. It's still 850, 860, right? So this doesn't do anything. All of this range of adjustment does nothing. And then when you get down here, it just turns it off. So when that's maxed out or even on one, you really can't do any kind of delicate cooking. So same here, when you click it with just one click, right there, it goes straight up to 1600 watts and it's pretty much on maximum power. Again, doesn't matter if you go here or there as I'm adjusting it back and forth. You see, it just stays there. So, this may be a deal breaker for some of you guys, but just want to let you know before you buy one of these that they're basically not really temperature adjustments, they're just really switches on and off. So, besides that, it's a pretty good build. And like I said, I was kind of surprised that it's not a grounded plug, so keep that in mind as well. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was useful.